what I mean, I would argue that mitochondrial dysfunction and aging are the same thing. And so, but you know, the good news is that age only explains 25% of mitochondrial functions. And with that, to me, the way that I spin that is that means that 75% of this is in, under your control. But if I were to pick five things that just everyone should be doing for their mitochondria, a lot of it does look like health advice you might get somewhere else, but it, it actually is the best stuff. So I think creatine, optimizing your creatine status is super important. And I think that everyone who's not eating one or two pounds of meat per day should be, should probably be taking creatine. We mentioned uh, sunlight. Now I need to, I need to wake up and I need to start producing more energy. Um, and sunlight, going into your eyes, being translated into your brain is the signal that actually tells your brain to organize that. Then nutrition would be number three and nu every nutrient is needed for everything in your body. Um, so I think the right way to look at it is just, you should be exercising all the things that are functions that you need to keep. Well, I think that everyone has idiosyncratic things and I think mitochondrial testing is, is very important. So we wanna step up the game and you know work so i if there's two things that people take away from this from me today i would want it to be always think about your mitochondria first and when you're thinking about them always go with a, a food first pharma last approach naturally create a state of abundance in the best way that you can and then move on to other things after you've done that